Hey gang, welcome to your third Vuex tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about central stores. So in the last tutorial we went ahead and created this simple Vue.js application. We have two nested components, product list 1, product list 2, both showing the same product data, they're just styled differently. They're both nested with inside this root component right here which is storing this data, products, and passing it down as props to both of these two components. So this is typically how we'd set up a simple Vue.js application without using Vuex. We'd store this data on the root component, the shared data, and pass it down to the components which need it. Now I want to show you how we'd set this up using Vuex. So we're not going to define this data right here, we're going to define it on some kind of central store. Now the first thing we need to do is install Vuex. So you want to open up your console and you want to type in npm install Vuex double hyphen save and that will save it to your dependencies. To check it's installed correctly just open your package.json file and make sure Vuex is in the dependencies. Okay cool so now that's installed we can create this central store. Now typically when we do this what we do is create a folder called store to store this in. So let's create a new folder and we'll call that store and inside the folder I'm going to create a new JavaScript file as well called store JS. So this is where we're going to create our central store of data. So the first thing we need to do is import a couple of things. We need to import view from view and also we need to import what we've just installed Vuex. So import Vuex from Vuex. Okay cool. So first of all we need to tell Vue.js that we want to use a plugin. This plugin right here. And the way we do that is by using the view.use method. And inside here we say which plugin we want to use, Vuex. So now we can use it in this application. And we're going to use it to create our store now. So I'm going to create a constant first of all, and I'm going to call this store. And this is going to be equal to a new Vuex.store. Okay, and store is in capitals and Vuex is in capitals. Okay, so inside here we want to pass through an object and we want to define the state of our application. And remember state is just the data in our application. So state, and this is an object, and inside this object we can define different sets of data, much like we would in the data method right here of a component, but we don't need this return statement. Instead what I'm going to do is just grab these products, cut them from here, save that, and I'm going to define them within the state right here, so I'll paste it in. So now we have our products data defined in this central state rather than defined over here in the root component, okay? And the idea is now that these other components, product list one and product list two, will be able to access this data from this central store without it being passed from this root component as props, okay? So right here we've created our store and what we want to do now is export this store because right now it's just a file sitting on its own doing nothing. We want to export it so that in the next tutorial we can import it into our main.js file and use it within our application then we can start accessing the data. So if I save it right now you're going to notice over here that we don't see any of the data anymore and like I said that's because it's no longer stored on this root component okay so it's not actually receiving the data from anywhere. So in the next tutorial I'll show you how we can reach into this store and output the data.